it's every day is kind of a bad experience. It's just because it's just rough out here, you know. It's not it's not easy. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're back in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, with Angelina. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, Angelina. Where are you from originally? I'm um, from um, Ely. It's Where's a, that? At? It's like three and a half hours north of here. Yeah. Yeah, small little town. What's it like growing up there? Like country, country living, kind of yeah. in the mountains, you know. Did you go to high school there? I did. Yeah. Did yeah. you graduate? No. You didn't graduate. What no. happened? Uh, I dropped out. Um, like my junior year. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped out just because. Uh, I don't know, I, I mean, just, it was just me, really. Like, I got kicked out of my house, and, yeah, because my stepdad was a douchebag, and oh. so I got kicked out of my house. So I've been kind of on my own since I was, uh, like, 17. When you were growing up, was there any abuse in the home? No, I grew up, I grew up with my grandma. Okay. Yeah. What was your childhood like? Um, I mean, it was, it was, I mean, we, we were broke, you know, we grew up, I probably grew up a little bit faster than I should have. Partying really young and, yeah. you know, doing things I probably shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. What kind of student were you? Uh, kind of a jock, actually. Yeah, were you yeah. popular? I bet you were popular. Eh, ish. I kind of hung out with, like, the skaters. It was, yeah. like, more like the skater kind of girl, you know? What were you listening to back then? <sighs> um, you know, like, g g g g g unit <laughs> You know yeah. that type of <laughs> Yeah. Hip-hop? Yeah, so, you know, like, you know, the good old, yeah. I guess they're oldies now. Did you get in a lot of trouble in school? Mm, not really, no. For do smoking you, cigarettes all the time, oh, but that's it. Do you remember a teacher that influenced you or had a positive impact on you? Um, okay, so my second grade teacher, she was actually my, um, my stepdaughter's second grade teacher as well. And so that was kind of cool, um, but I mean, nobody really like influenced. I probably would have graduated if I had the influence. What's her name? Miss Costello. Miss Costello. Shout yeah. out to Miss Costello. Yeah. All she right. She was super cute. <laughs> All right. So, are you currently using anything? Just, uh, just blues. Blues. Okay. Did Good you, old blues. Did you start drugs at an early age? I did. Super early. How early? Uh, like the summer before high school. Okay, that's yeah. not super early, but still kind of I mean, early. I mean, six, 16 years ago. Oh, before high school. Yeah, 16 years ago. So that must have been like eight before ninth grade? Yeah. Wow. Who? What do you think the reason was that you started using drugs? Uh, just probably because I didn't have like um, like my parents really around, you know what yeah. I mean? I, I grew up with my grandma who was kind of done raising everybody, you know? And not that she didn't do like a good job and do what she could, it's just she was old, you know, getting older and like, you know? I was a teenager. <laughs> Did you have any um, learning disabilities or any other mental health? Mm, no, no, no. I mean, I'm kind of crazy just as it is. But right, you got to be crazy to be on the streets, I'm, right? I'm telling you. Speaking of on the streets, are you homeless? Currently, yes. I okay, am. you're homeless. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Do you know where to go for help? Like the shelters or anything like that? Mm, mm -mm. I can give you some resources after the interview. Okay. There's a lot of shelters around here. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. <clears throat> have you gone to rehab? Nope, I've never gone to You've rehab. You've never tried rehab? Mm -hmm. I did I did complete drug court. Um, yeah. Like, that was like 10 years ago, though. Okay. 13 years ago, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But I completed that. Well, you seem pretty alert, and you're intelligent, obviously. It hasn't hit you that hard yet, has it? Um, I mean, I'm just... I don't know, I just kind of get right, I guess. You know what yeah. I mean? Instead of, I don't, um, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't be passing out out here on the streets, yeah. you know? Do you have anything to live for? Uh, my kids. How many? Two, two boys. Yeah. Are you in a relationship right now? Nope, single, single. Okay, have you ever worked the streets? A little bit, here yeah. and there. Out of necessity? Yes, always. It's not something you enjoy? No. All right, Angelina, you wanted to share your story about your tattoos. Yeah. Go ahead. So I got my my roses are from my sons. Okay. This Robert and this Rocco. And then I've got you know my butterfly, which is my re most recent. So 
and then my hourglass, and my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, what does that say? It's top shelf. What does you that know? mean? The tippy top of the shelf, the best of the best of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can't get no better then. Why did you start um, working the streets? Just out of necessity, you know, because you can't have nothing all the time. Yeah. You got to make something happen. You got to turn nothing into something somehow. Yeah. You ever had any bad experiences out here? Yeah, there's, it's, every day is kind of a bad experience. What do you mean? Explain that. It's just, because it's just rough out here, you know, it's not, it's not easy. Is there any type of uh, individuals that you shy away from or avoid? Just guys that um, are too aggressive and too pushy. Um, just because I don't want it to turn into like a physical situation where I feel like lines are crossed or yeah. my um, like I'm being disrespected in any way or you know I uh, I, t I tend to stick to like more on the gentlemanly side of things. You ever had a positive experience meeting a trick out here that turned into a relationship or someone that supported you in other ways? Um, no, I mean I have I have a certain people that you know um, are like come back customers I guess you could yeah. say um, they uh, they help out a lot and they they become like friends you know yeah. you ever any women ever hit you up um, no not for not for you know women is more my time oh you're bisexual yeah <laughs> when did you discover you're bisexual when I don't know, probably like high school, really. <laughs> I kind of always knew, you know, because... What did your parents think of that, or your grandma? I mean, she she never knew. She never knew. No, and I mean, my mom, I don't really talk about that with my mom, or, you know, I just kind of do me, but, you know. What if she would have found out? Well, I try not to do things that I can't talk about, um, because if I can't talk about it, then I'm ashamed of it. Yeah. And um, I, I don't, I'm not going to do something I'm completely ashamed of and can't talk about. Um, so any experience and anything that I do, I do um, willing to tell my mother, you know? Yeah. You ever had a pimp? No, have no been folks for by me. Uh, I have, actually, I have. I have, I actually, like, it's kind of crazy because they, like, kind of tell you what you're going to do, you know? Yeah. Explain. Um, like, um, they tell you, hey, you know, you're going to come with me and you're like, no, I'm yeah. not, you know, and you just kind of know right off the bat that it's yeah. just bad news, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So what's your message to young people who want to work the streets? Just, um, I mean, if you got to do it, just be careful. Yeah. How do you be careful? You all just have somebody know where you're at, where you're going. Um, have somebody, you know, just somebody there to... Make sure you come back. Tell me a crazy incident out here on the streets. So just the other day I had to, I had to pepper spray this girl. Like yeah. She was trying to fight me over some drama that she just was trying to stick her nose in. And, yeah. you know, and then she wanted to fight me. And she was like, looking like Charles Ray Leonard. <laughs> like Sugar Ray Leonard, I guess. Like, <laughs> Sugar Ray Leonard? <laughs> one eye, like... <laughs> She Taking crazy eye? swings at me, like yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, and I just, I just pepper sprayed her. And like I don't know. I guess you look, it, you look pretty feisty. Can you fight? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say like yes, I can, yeah. like because you know everybody has met their match, you know. But yeah, what do you look for in a relationship? A gentleman. Yeah. Yes. Somebody who doesn't split the pole when we walk. You know. Yeah. Tell me like a dream date. Dream date. Um. I mean, just, just, just cruising around, you know, like nothing better than some bass and like, you know, like a couple of drinks and yeah. What were you doing out here in your earlier days? Were you My, clubbing uh, out here? No, you know, actually I never went to like a club like or yeah. nothing like that. No, it's yeah. just been like, you know what I mean? Sin City, I guess, yeah. you know, Sin City and Naked City. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why they call it Naked City? I do not. Okay. Do you? I thought, I heard it was because of uh, back in the day when the showgirls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is where the showgirls used yeah, to live. Yeah. And they used to. Yes, you're right. Bathe out yep. there topless. Yeah. The showgirls used to and stay the, in this area. And yes. the uh, airplanes would see them. And, right. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. This place is really cleaning up. Have you noticed that? Is it? Not here, but towards Fremont. <laughs> towards Fremont a little bit. Um, it's getting I mean, like, I it's kinda, getting like hipster. Yes, actually, yeah. yes, super hipster. Yeah. Super curly mustaches and yeah. suspenders, yes. Suspenders. I have noticed, yes. It's cute though, like I love, I love the art district. Do you? Yeah, it's, I love all the graffiti and. So tell me, what's your favorite song of all time? Oh man, I can't play favorites with okay, songs. Okay, play, give me a couple. Oh, um, mm, I mean, you gotta go Hotel California. Yeah. Um, Great choice. I don't know, I think that's probably my favorite. Like off the top of my head, that's yeah. probably like the one, you know? What were your dreams as a child? Well, I mean, not this obviously, but I mean, I just kind of, I don't know, I never really got asked that, I guess. No, when you were growing up, like Yeah, I never school, really got asked, I don't you know. You ever thought about doing something? Um, I mean, I played a lot of sports, so I probably wanted to do, you know what I mean? Something along the lines of like, yeah. something athletic or, or um, you know, maybe like a personal trainer or, or something along those lines. You like, could pursue that because you look very athletic. You're obviously smart. Get muscle cleaned memory. Up. Do you, so do you know, if you say you woke up tomorrow and you wanted to get clean, do you know what to do? Well, I mean, if I wanted to get clean tomorrow, I would just get clean tomorrow and just be, you know, it's just mind over matter for me. I you don't think feel, so? I don't feel like, because I've quit before. I've been sober before and I've, you know what I mean? But I've always picked it back up, so maybe that's, you know, the problem, yeah. but. <laughs> have you ever been to NA? Yes, yeah. yes I have, I've gone to meetings. Um, but that was when I was like court ordered to go. I've never voluntarily gone. You ever had a sponsor? No. No? You know there's some great rehabs around here. Yeah, I never. Have you heard of any of them? Never heard of any of them. Um, the only ones I've heard of are like, um, like the women's one, but all that yeah. is like court ordered things. Court, you know? Yeah, there's some other ones here. There's Crossroads, you never heard of that one? Uh uh. No, and then there's the Help Center of Nevada. I can give you some resources after the interview. Okay. So you said you have two children? I do, I do. One baby daddy or two? One baby daddy, yeah. Okay. One baby how, daddy. How did he treat you? Um, he, it was not, it was a very rough relationship with him. Um, yeah. He, uh, like he um, he beat me up really bad uh, there at the end of our relationship and I actually got like life lighted they thought I was gonna have to be referred to a plastic surgeon and and it was really bad I'm sorry yeah, yeah that's like it's kind of what led to like the downhill like yeah. destruction of like how are your kids doing they're good they're good they're happy are they in the system or nope no, no. They're, they're actually with their dad you know okay. um, all things aside you know he's He's a good dad. Yeah. My kids are happy. I'll give him credit where credit's due, but I just can't. When was the last time you seen him? Um, I seen him, it's actually been like a month ago. Like, um, yeah, I was, uh, I went down there like a month ago and hung out with him. What's your message to your kids? I love my kids. Yeah. I love them very much. Do you want to be reunited? Of course, I would love that. Okay. I get, I get a little choked up when I talk about my kids. I understand. Because you know, I love them so much. Yeah. <laughs> So we like eating out here in Vegas. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. No, um, pizzas. Can't go wrong with pizza. Can't f that up. Yeah. Yeah, pizza's probably my favorite, favorite food, you know. Yeah. And I love McDonald's. I you can't help it. I just came back from McDonald's. I love McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite at McDonald's? The gangbang. The what? The gangbang. What's that? It's the McDouble and then the, the spicy chicken. Yeah. And you take the spicy chicken and you like wipe it off the bun. Yeah. And then you put it in between the hamburgers yeah. and you put some french fries on it and yeah. it's gangbang. Oh, damn. Gangbang. It's bomb. I never heard of that. You should have one. I guess we could Mick gangbang it. Oh, okay. Mick gangbang. <laughs> it's off the menu. Yeah. <laughs> you like to travel? Uh, yeah, I would love to travel if I, you know what I mean? If I, if I gotta have. Gotta have bread to travel. Yeah. So. You ever been out of the country? Never. Never? You been Never. out of Vegas? Um, I've been out of Vegas. I've not been like, um, I've not gone to like all 50 states or like uh, anything like that. I think the furthest like east I've gone is like North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> you been to California? But I went to Disneyland. Did you? Yeah, Everyone I went to, to Six Flags. You didn't go to the beaches? Went, yeah, went to the beach. Which beach went you to go beach. to? I don't even know. No. Don't even know. But I just remember we jumped in yeah. underwear, 
didn't even care. You done any crazy things lately? Um, no, I mean, I get a, like, not the other day, guys, like yeah. a little while ago. <laughs> but I, this girl had, I don't know, a pair of sunglasses on and I snatched them off her face and <laughs> took off with her. Why'd you do that? Because they were cute. <laughs> yeah, we gotta think of the consequences. All right, all jokes aside, you're very funny, entertaining. No, but for real, yeah. Yeah, I hope you get clean. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you kind of know what It'll to do tight. now? Right. Yeah, what's we'll stopping yeah, you? I appreciate it. What do you think stopping you? Well, just my own, like, want to, I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I guess, like, deep down, like, I don't really want to. Yeah. Otherwise, I would, you know? What's the reason you don't want to? Is it just fun out here? I'm just heartbroken, and I just, you know what I mean? I just don't want to, like, deal with it all. I get it. Yeah. You're numbing the pain. Yeah. From your ex? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I wish the best for you, okay? Thank you. God bless you. Do you believe in God? I mean, you don't have to. I mean, do you, I'm just asking. I hope there's a God. Yeah. Do you believe in a higher power? I feel like we are our own higher powers. There you go. Like And like we manifest things that we think are miracles and believe to be God and yeah, there you go, Maybe getting all philosophical. Us, you know? That's awesome. <laughs> all right, you have a beautiful night. Thank you, you too. Thank you.